Hey guys, how's it going? This is Epic, and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2. And basically, this video is all about uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 that's coming out. Well, the reveal trailer is coming out in a few days. It's coming out on uh, April the 26th. And the only thing I'd like to talk to you about is my wish list. Yes, because it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, it's been a whole week. So, I know you guys, well, I know you guys are missing, uh, videos that I upload, uh, daily like I used to, but, you know, school, man, school has just been, you know, dreadful, and, you know, I gotta keep, keep passing, you know, I gotta get those grades, but enough of that, how about we talk about Black Ops 3 in my wish list? uh, we're gonna be talking about maybe just guns, kill streaks, score streaks, and maybe future maps that they should put in DLCs, and we're gonna start off with, uh, maybe the guns, or the playstyle of the game. Uh, there are have been rumors on YouTube. Yes, I've been watching other videos on Modern Warfare 3 and the reveal trailer of Modern Warfare 3 on the uh, uh, not the uh, trailer, the uh, tre teaser. And I believe this is going to be a good game for Treyarch because one, they get to redeem themselves after well, Black Ops 2 wasn't as good as Black Ops 1, in my opinion. You guys might agree, some of you might disagree, disagree, but, you know, that's your opinion, and that's fine. Some people have their reasons why they hate Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and I have my reasons as well. So, in the background, it's just uh, a little sniper gameplay I have with the Ballista on Downhill, one of the DLC maps, and, uh... Yeah, this is a pretty good gameplay. I got some good kills with the sniper rifle. I was pretty good with the sniper rifle back, uh, back around in 2013 where I actually saved this video for you guys. And how about we just get on to the topic because I just keep rambling on about this. So, the guns that I want to see on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And of course, the first one on the list has to be the AK-47U. From Call of Duty Black Ops 1 because that game I mean because that gun was absolutely awesome you can have either uh, I think <laughs> my fan just went off you can have either uh, you can have either dual mag or extended mag in that gun or even grip or even in fact silencer actually every attachment on that gun would just make the gun good even if you don't have any it's still a good gun and it's worth it making a return on Black Ops 3, in my opinion, was maybe one of the best AK versions of the AK-47 they have ever created for Call of Duty. And it just it just ran great. It just was just a good gun to play with. It was good for mostly all game modes if you had the right attachments and attachments and perks for it, which is, you know, fantastic. But enough of that. So the second gun on my list is the Galil from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Again, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 had some amazing guns that simply would just turn the tides on the other other uh, teams' uh, you know power. So the Galil is basically a assault rifle. is based on stability. The only thing that's all it is is stability. It it does not have no uh no you know try hard stats like increased rapid fire or anything like that but the galeo in my opinion is maybe one well maybe is the uh best assault rifle in that game in my opinion so that's enough of that the third gun i like to see and this is basically not it's it's not cl i don't think it's classified as a uh as a black ops or well, Call of Duty in general, but I like to see, you know, the Vector from Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah, the Vector for oh, no, not the Vector. Whoops. Yeah, the Vector. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stick with the Vector. I was thinking of the K7, but the K7 has sometimes has recoil issues. And in order for it to be like a good gun, you got to have grip or anything, but not rapid fire or, um, uh, uh, red dot sight which is you know that makes the gun like absolutely terrible in my opinion you know but you know uh, enough of all of that it will be like 
uh, it'll be like, you know, um, yeah. So the vector from Call of Duty Ghost, even though it wasn't, <laughs> it's not really classified as a, you know, gun. It's been in previous Call of Duty, but I choose it because it's a good submachine gun. It's well rounded. It depends what you're using, but it goes great with uh, survival, which is <laughs> fantastic. So you can have uh, survival or anything else like that with the vector on Call of Duty Ghost, and you would just simply just wreck. And my fifth and final gun that I would like to see in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 <laughs> is the ASM-1 from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You guys are like probably like, wow, we're never expected. But yeah, m not the uh, regular F uh, SM SM-1 version, just the Elite version, the Speakeasy. The only version of the gun that I actually would enjoy. It's got great, it's got great handling, great stability. And its, mo its mobility is fantastic. This gun is just extremely well-rounded. And that's it. So let's move on to something else. Uh, basically, oh, let's just get this out of the way. I do not want to see any form of Final Stand, Second Chance, whatever you may want to call it. Final Stands, Second Chance, or whatever. No one, no one wants that. No one wants that crap. So you can just drop that. That is just trash, right? Let's get now we got rid of that garbage. So uh, what's next? What's next? Perks. Perks could be fine. I can adapt to the perks. But as long as they have scavenger, hardline, and uh, a flank jacket, or some uh, some type of version of marathon and lightweight, it will be fine. It'll be, the game will be pretty good like that. And well, yeah. So what else? Maps. All right. So more maps. Quality, uh, quality maps in general, but it really depends. Well, I can't really answer. I can't really say anything about the best maps that I would like to see, because of one reason: exosuits. We don't know if there's going to be exosuits or not in the next uh, Call of Duty. Even, well, I don't think so. So, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even be able to do that. But I'll still do it anyways for the uh, top five maps. So at number well, it's going as there is no order of I want to see it more. It's just a list, all right. If you guys haven't noticed that yet. So at number one, I have uh, uh what's that map called? Stadium. Stadium from uh Black Ops One. I don't know what it's called in Black Ops Two. I think it's maybe. I mean, I don't. I don't even really know what it's called in Black Ops Two. But yeah, you, you got that. Stadium is a pretty good map. Uh, I like to see number two. I like to see turbine come back. Uh, freaking uh, uh, Call of Duty Ghost is Stonehaven, pretty good map. Uh, what else? And I like maybe uh, no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of small maps. Oh, and they really should bring back Overgrown from Call of Duty Modern for two. Pretty good map for sniping. Well-rounded for it's good for search and destroy, domination, uh, hard point, headquarters. You know all the objective-based ones. It, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good map for it. Pretty good map for sniping. You know, well-rounded, getting a drop on the enemies. Uh, many many ways of flanking them. You know, just just it's just a really good map for like objectives and ways to get around your enemy using tactics and all that. So. Uh, yeah, so basically that is really really just it right there and I like the uh, Thank you guys for watching this video. I put together so quickly for you guys, and I hope you guys like comment subscribe for more uh, For more Call of Duty type videos, you know, it could be any game I'm about to hit up the old games like World of War and all that, but feel free to, to like comment and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Epic Journey and I'm out.